Years ago, when there were good numbers of quality haddock in the outer Clyde, I used to make regular runs across to the Isle of Arran to fish for them with a friend of mine called Neil McLean. Out around Landmash and Holy Island, it would have been unthinkable to even consider going afloat without having razor fish for bait on board. Virtually everything in Arran waters was willing to take them, and the cod and haddock in particular always found them hard to resist. After one trip, I brought a load back home in a cool box to try off Blackpool in the years when the jumbo cod were about, and again the fish absolutely loved them. So it wasn't only a localised Aran thing. Neil's method was to spear them on the bigger ties using a long straight bar with a barb. Elsewhere in the country, I've seen people fill a furry liquid bottle with extremely salty water which is squirted into the hole to bring the razor fish up to the surface. But what a lot of people don't realise is that if you walk the beach carefully and are quick, you can also dig them using a garden fork. The entrance to a razor fish burrow is typically keyhole shaped. Unfortunately, heart urchins, which also like to burrow, use a similar shaped hole entrance. But one thing heart urchins don't do is squirt out a jet of water as they start burrowing when they become alarmed. On the one hand, the water jet gives the razor fish away, but to counter this, it then has a head start which you have to make up with the fork. Like all baits, razor fish are best used fresh, but they also freeze well too. A fantastic bait in its own right, and the perfect partner for lugworm when you want a cocktail bait that combines scent with taste and with good visual attraction.